So here we go then at Tattersfield for today's encounter between High Flying Huddersfield and Doncaster. A vital promotion game for both sides. Of course, Huddersfield uh, have already beaten Doncaster once this season, 14-0 at Fartown. Last month, so they'll be keen to do the double, but Doncaster have some good players themselves. And standoff Mike Smith, and of course, fullback Tony Zello. And Gary Coulter made such an impression at Fartown, so it's going to be no pushover. Referee. Mr. Volante from Batley. And Batley kick, and uh, sorry, Doncaster kick off. Senior. Senior driving through, trying to make as much ground as possible. To Shuttleworth. Shuttleworth kicks straight away. That's straight down. Oh, Zilai. It's a knock on from Zilai. A bad mistake from the Doncaster fullback. And that won't inspire, that won't give his, do his confidence any good at all. Dropping the ball right at the beginning of the game. So it's going to be a scum down man. Just outside the, the, Don, the Doncaster 22. With Greg Shuttleworth to feed the ball in then. So it comes out with Shuttleworth. To Gilbert. To Gibson. Gibson. Trying to work the run around. Chapman. But Chapman's brought down. No way through. No way through for Chris Chapman there. There's a ball out. Gibson, get the ball out, but he's brought down. Makes no real ground there, Jason Gilbert. It's Arnold Lomax. Arnold Lomax, of course, at his field's uh, Kiwi sign him. Now the ball's with Shuttleworth. Senior, Senior, so close to getting through. There's no way through there yet. Referee pulling Doncaster on side. But, oh, and... Miss Wilder pass goes to ground and into touch, so it will be a scrum down. With Martin Rose to put the ball in for Doncaster. Enthusiastic crowd gathered here at Tattersfield. Today's encounter, what's the referee going to give? We're going to have another try, I think. Mr. Volant from Batley says we're going to have another try. So it's going to be Martin Rose again then to feed the ball in. And that's unfortunate for Huddersfield because the ball came out into Shuttleworth's hands. Gonna try it. We're going to try again. Rose again then to feed the ball in. Rose come out with Doncaster then. Brought to ground then. Mike Smith. Driving play then from the Doncaster forwards, trying to make as much ground as possible. There's no way through past uh, Simon Kenworthy there though. Good tackling, three man tackle. Lomax and Kenworthy, as well as Shuttleworth. She'll be careful to stay on side. Smith. Smith working out to Zeli. The chance here for Doncaster, the man's over. But he couldn't find it and the ball's gone to ground. It's a bit of a let off there for this field. The, the overlap was there for the winger pennant to get the ball but it couldn't be found unfortunately for Doncaster so just inside Doncaster's half it's going to be a scrum down with Greg Shuttleworth to put the ball in for Huddersfield ball comes in it's going to come out on Huddersfield's side Doncaster looked offside and it's Ian Thomas trying to break through and score he's got a good try here last season he looked offside again but the referee not impressed Stridges on the field. It's number 12, Kevin Rain. I saw Kevin Rain throw punches. I don't know what's going to happen there. The touch Stridges on and he obviously saw what happened and his referees come over. I don't know what the decision's going to be. And there's a referee calling over. Shuttleworth's going over to have a word. Of course, Huddersfield's captain going over to have a word, and I don't know what the referee's going to decide here. He's consulting with his touch judge. And that certainly woke the crowd up. I certainly saw Kevin Rain throw a punch, but what happened before then? I have no idea. It's Mike Smith. Mike Smith's been talked to, and that's bad for Doncaster. 
and Shuttleworth for Huddersfield. I don't know what's going to happen to. He's just calling them together to have a quiet word. Behind him are trouble. And the player sent off and put in the sim bin. He doesn't look to be taking any serious action. There's no cards come out. There's going to be a scum down there. It's obviously going to be Huddersfield's. No, it's going to be Doncaster's ball. I think. What's the referee single? No, Shuttleworth's got the ball in his hands. Yeah, it's going to be Doncaster's ball. That's a, it's a, it's a strange decision by the referee because it was the Doncaster player, Villa Machu. I can't even say his name, who knocked on. And this is certainly turned into a fiery encounter. The referee needs to get some control now. A penalty in the tackle for Doncaster. Mike, no, it's uh, Zilla's got the ball in his hands. It's going to be a chance for Doncaster then to get the ball into Huddersfield territory for the first time really this game. Which he does so. Roars of encouragement from the Doncaster fans. Huddersfield looked offside but they weren't. And Arnie Lomax has been knocked a bit out of the way there. But I'm sure he'll get his own back later in the game. He's a big lad. Well taken there by Smith but Smith is not brought down. The ball's come out again with Zelly. But Tony Bowles, the wing, is brought down. They're just outside the 22-yard line then. That's with Smith. Now Rain. Keith Rain. Gilbert's calling for men to go over to the far touch line. Smith. Oh, and the ball's gone to ground. Poor play there. By Terry Hermerson. Very poor play dropping the ball. And Donkers had a good chance. The holding down could have been awarded then, but the referee lets it go. Gibson gives the ball out to Kenworthy. There's no way through for Simon Kenworthy. And he's eventually brought to ground by two man Doncaster tackle. Stuart Walker there. No way through. He makes five or six yards though. I think to Huddersfield. No, he's given a knock on. Given a knock on. He thought the ball was stolen from him in the tackle, but referee disagrees and it's a scrum down. Just inside the Huddersfield half with Doncaster to put the ball in. Ball comes out with Doncaster then. Smith. This could be a try for Doncaster. The ball's been given out. Parent is it in the corner. All the parents sit in the corner. A good try for Doncaster. The scrum won by Martin Rose. The ball came out to Smith. And all great pennant skates over in the corner. There's eight minutes gone here. And Doncaster have the lead. 4-0. Good handling from Smith. Now it's going to be Zelai. Trying to add the difficult conversion. Touchline. Overcast here at the moment. Looks like there's going to be some rain. Perhaps lurching the game. And anyway, so Zelai's lining this goal up. And he kicks. Now. Not even in the right direction and far too short from Zilla, but it's still a good start from Doncaster and they go 4 0 into the lead. And Alex Murphy shouting encouragement from the touchline for the far town players and they certainly like they could need some of his magic at the moment. Trailing 4 0 after just nine minutes. It's just going to be Jason Gilbert then to kick the ball off. Kicks off then, long. 
Well taken by Terry Hermanson on his own goal line and he makes it almost the 22 yard line and he's brought down. Hermanson then. Straight down. Ball comes out. There's no way through though. Resolute tackling. Got a call to that, makes five or six yards, but he's brought down. Another two have got to be careful to stay on side. Mr. Valance warning them. And there's going to be a kick here. The one it was almost charged down by Stuart Walker. And it's Wally Gibson then, Wally Gibson. But he's well shackled there, Gibson. And Doncaster and Miles offside at the moment, but the referee chooses to take no action, and Phil Hook's going forward. And Phil Hook lost the ball in the tackle. Could be a second try for Doncaster, but that's a knock on. I'm sure the referee will have seen the knock on. Should be Essie sort of swallowing the ball. Doncaster knocking on, they're in a good opportunity there to score the second try of the afternoon. But unfortunately, the pass just went to ground. So the ball's out with Chuckworth. Now to Gilbert. Gilbert trying to work the run around. Can't get through though. So he's going to play the ball back to Shuttleworth. They're offside, Doncaster, but the referee chooses to take no action. Senior trying to get through, but there's no way through. Offside again. Simon Kenworthy then, the ball going to ground. Kenworthy spilling the pass. This should give possession back to Doncaster. Simon Kenworthy then won't be happy with that. But, ooh, and it almost went in against the head. Good tackle on Martin Rose on the halfway line. Ken with the trying to make up for his knock on. Smith. Almost finding his way through. Makes it 10 yards into the Lutherfield half and gives the ball to Mature. That oddly pennant, sorry. But pennant, no way through the second time. Smith. Zelly just brought down, just out, just brought down, caught by his ankles. Chance for Doncaster. That's poor tackling. And Coulter almost went over. Good tackling from Gibson. The last tackle, what a... But that's a good tackle and that should be the handover. Yeah. Well defended as field. Coulter almost scored, almost went over. Took a last ditch tackle from Gibson to prevent him. And Doncaster are very flat at the back at the moment. A chip over the top could work here. From deep. Maybe after a couple of drives. Because the speed measures Ian Thomas and Wally Gibson. <laughs> Huck. Arnie Lomax. Offside, I think the referee is given against Doncaster. Yes, offside, the, ref the referee's decision. It's going to be a chance for Shuttleworth then to kick the ball long into touch. Get into Doncaster territory, perhaps. And force the equalising try. So Shuttleworth then kicks long. Yes, it's indeed gone into the Doncaster half. That's a very good kick from Shuttleworth. Midway between the 22 and the halfway line then. Phil Hook plays the ball. To Stuart Walker. Good tackle on Stuart Walker though, forcing him backwards. Huck. Kenworthy. Holding the almost to the 22 yard line. Simon Kenworthy. No way through though. Something plays the ball and now it's going to be Senior trying to get through. Senior! Almost got through. Made 15 good yards then Gary Senior and Shuttleworth. Trying to work the run around and it's the low max. Well, that's it's play on, says the referee. Play on, says Mr. Blant, saying it hit his leg. Which is fair enough. So Gibson. Gilbert. Chance for Ken with it. That's a penalty. High tackle. They could be in serious trouble then. Kevin Rain could be in serious trouble. It could be someone sent off, or at least Simbin for Doncaster. It was a high tackle and the referee signalled it straight away, but they went in. 
The Doncaster forwards piled in on the Huddersfield man on the ground and it could be serious trouble here for Doncaster. And obviously a player that shouldn't be seen on the rugby field so the best thing is to send the man off. He was indeed guilty of the offence. And the Huddersfield fans definitely think so. I don't think no, I don't think any action is going to be taken. No, no. No action is going to be taken. I think Jason Gilbert's going to have a pot at goal. Coast kick 12 out of 14 attempts against Trafford Borough last, last Sunday. And this shouldn't really present him with any problems. Not someone of Gilbert's kicking stature. The high tackle was on Simon Campbell, and he looks to be all right. Stuart Walker receiving some minor attention. So Gilberling puts down some sand. Lines the ball up. Six, 16 minutes gone here at Tattersfield. A chance for Gilbert. Yeah, straight through the middle. Jason Gilbert doesn't miss those. So, Doncaster kick off long then, Chapman's underneath it, well taken by Chapman, he's going to try and make some ground, make it to the 22 yard line. And he does, are you? he's a yard short. Doncaster tackles up well then. Looked offside, but Lomax is trying to, sorry, Gilbert's trying to come and throw on the burst. Hook, Senior. Senior, they're making good ground at his field, plowing the way towards the halfway line. So it's going to be Simon Kenworthy trying to break through. And Doncaster, tackling well, Shuttleworth, kicks long and it's going to be straight, straight forward for Zeli really. It's, going to, it's not going to go dead and Zeli fields it then on his own goal line. And Huddersfield want to be up quickly tackling him. David Oates is pursuing him but Zeli's going. Zeli's going, it's a good run by Zeli. Zeli takes him to the halfway line. Very good run. And Shuttleworth's been spoken to. It's a penalty to Doncaster. Shuttleworth then perhaps a bit lucky to get away with it. Referee just having a quick word. And it's a chance here for Doncaster to extend the lead perhaps. It's never going to be easy for Fartown here. And Lomax went for a punch. He threw a punch at him then. Throw a punch at Rain, but the referee didn't see it. It's a good tackle. It's a very good tackle by Kenworthy. And the Doncaster fans, they don't like this tackle at the moment. But it was a perfectly fair tackle, says the referee. And Doncaster being driven backwards at the moment by the far town tackling. It's a good play. It's going to be Smith. It's going to go dead. Yep, it's dead. 22 yard tap. Chip through, of course, aiming for Pennant, who's already scored once this afternoon. It's going to be Phil up then to start. 22 yard tap. Oates. Makes a few yards, and the Doncaster fans thinking they're going to get their own back with some strong tackling of their own now. Stuart Walker. Made 10 yards though, this tackle, and the ball's with Lomax. Lomax, has four men on Lomax. Referee single, and they're offside, Doncaster, miles offside. But the referee chooses not to, not, not to punish him at all. And Thomas has got the ball. It's running from Ian Thomas, but it was well shackled then by his opposite number, Pennant. And Gibson says a chip and chase for Gibson. Looked like obstruction, but the referee says nothing. And Rouse brings the ball to within 15 yards of Huddersfield territory. It's a good tackle. Grounded just a couple of yards inside in the Huddersfield half. Rain driving through, trying to get the breakthrough. But good tackling again keeps him out. And that's going nowhere really from Doncaster. An ambitious play there, really. 
and I think he's playing for the penalty and the referee was not impressed and he's seen him offside offside and is Zelly going to have a pop at goal I think he is Zelly's going to have no he's going to go for touch they're hoping confident of a second try it's a poor kick really though from Zelly not one of his better efforts of the afternoon 20 minutes gone we're halfway through the first half Grounded just shot of the 22, Tony Bowes, just shot of the 22 yard line. Smith, Lowe's. Smith again is an inspiration really, standoff. It's a good tackle. They're keeping Doncaster out at the moment, I don't know how long it's going to last. Smith again, trying to get through. Chance here for Doncaster then, got to keep the tackling up, up to scratch, just like they have been doing. Tackling's improved this season, and that's a very good tackle, and he's under pressure. That looked like a forward pass, but the referee says nothing. Last tackle then, could we see a drop goal perhaps? No, the ball's going to be spread out wide, there's going to be a chip through. And Doncaster have the ball, six again, says the referee. Pennant's going for the score, and he could be in. He's given the score. It's Pennant's second try of the afternoon. Second try of the afternoon then for Aldley Pennant. Huddersfield defence at sixes and sevens. Six again was, was single by Mr. Valante. The Huddersfield defence just couldn't get back quick enough. And Audley Pennant forced his way over. A bit fortunate, really, getting the six again, but it's rugby league. So then Zelly lining up the goal. This is easier than his first attempt, and it shouldn't be any problem. Yeah. So it's 23 minutes gone into Tennisville. It's Doncaster 10, Huddersfield 2. And they're chasing the game already. Cool dance. Join the club. So Gilbert then to kick off. There's been a substitution. Can't quite see who's come on. It's Bob Jowett who's come on. And Ian Thomas who's gone off. So it's a blow for Huddersfield if he's gone off. Or perhaps he might just be having a rest. Well fielded there by Hermanson. But it's almost a second attempt. And he, he drives himself to the 22. Senior then in with a the tackle. Another good tackle by Senior. Always seems to top the tackle count. Gary Senior. Very loyal player. As far back from uh, as far back as 1982. A spelling between with Huns, though, of course. So Doncaster again, trying to break through, trying to get into the Sfield territory. Last tackle, single by Mr. Valant. So Rose with a kick. Sat up for Gibson. Gibson's well grounded though. And the referee's seen some trouble again. I mean, sorry, the touch judge, and he's called the referee over. He's in straight away. And this is going to be a penalty to Huddersfield, I think. It's a penalty to Huddersfield, I think, is going to be the decision. Going in with the elbow in the tackle, says the referee, so Shuttleworth then to clear his lines. It's a good kick from Shuttleworth.
But the fans are doing their best to encourage the team. And they need it at the moment. Quarter of an hour till a break. It's still 10 2 down. I think that was a knock on, and he's given him offside. That's a poor decision by referee. Referee Mr. Valanti, the ball was knocked on by Lomax. And then he goes and penalises Doncaster for offside, and it's going to give Gilbert a second chance at goal. Another chance for Gilbert then. He's kicked one already from a similar position. Straight through from Gilbert. 10-4 then, 26 minutes gone. 10-4 to Doncaster. Two gift points then for Huddersfield, really. And Doncaster fans aren't at all happy with that decision. But there's not much they can do about it as the goal's gone over and it's 10-4. Gibson then. Good turn of speed from Gibson. Takes him past the 22-yard line. Hook. Oates. Oates trying to get through and he's almost got through. He's made 10 good yards there. Well done, David Oates. Penalty could have been awarded. They're offside, but no, says the referee. And Senior, it's a good tackle on Gary Senior. And Phil Hook's trying to get through. And he almost makes it to the halfway line. He's two yards short of the halfway line then. Phil Hogg. He's going to play the ball now to Shuttleworth. And that's straight down Zelly's throat. It's not. He's let it bounce. It's a knock on from Zelly. Knock on from Zelly. Good kick from Shuttleworth. The oncoming tacklers forced the, forced the mistake from Zelly. Put pressure on him and Zelly's knocked on. And he must be feeling that's the second time today Zelly's knocked on. He must be feeling pretty sick with himself. So it's going to be Shuttleworth, Shuttleworth then to feed the scrum. Should come out of Huddersfield's half, and they've got a chance to maybe pull the score back. Yep, it's coming out with Shuttleworth. Gilbert. It's in Gilbert again, on the runaround. Chapman, Anthony Edwards. What can Edwards do? He's ducking and weaving. Midway inside the Doncaster 22, a chance for Huddersfield. Oats. No, there's no tie, he's in touch. He's in touch in the corner. Very unlucky there from Huddersfield. Almost a tie in the corner, but just a foot in touch by John Adioli. So the ball's out with Battler with Rose. He's well shackled though, midway inside the 22. Well shackled. And they've got to let him get up and play the ball because he's very strict, is Mr. Volante. Kevin Rain trying to make some ground. Huddersfield then stay onside. It's the third tackle. Stiff challenge there on David Oates, but he looks all right. Playing for the penalty then, and Doncaster could have been penalised there for playing for the penalty. But it looked... I think referee Mr. Vance just said that he was enough punishment looking an idiot. So there we go. Smith. What can Smith do? Good ball. But Rain's well shackled. Last tackle then signalled. Good tackling by Huddersfield. Last, last tackle signalled by Mr. Valante. I think we're going to see a kick from Zelly. So that's followed nicely for Bob Jowett. And he's not the quickest... Yeah, the referee signalled the high the touch judge, it's the touch judge again. He signalled a high tackle. And the referee's not getting impressed with these high tackles. He's not impressed at all. And someone's gonna be simbing before long, I'm sure. So Shuttleworth then gets the ball inside the Doncaster 22. Just on the line, just inside the 22. A chance then for Huddersfield to pull the score back. 
10 minutes to the break and Doncaster are offside by a mile but the referee chooses to do nothing and Walker's driven back to the 22 yard line Puck Simon Kenworthy trying to get through there's no way through for Kenworthy but he's made ground Lomax Lomax trying to get trying to work his way through Lomax and Gibson's trying to get through to the line and Gibson's over what a try from Warner Gibson straight over the ball came out from Lomax in the tackle the ball came out from Lomax in the tackle and Gibson was there and it was a marvellous try from Wally Gibson a splendid solo effort rather similar to what he scored against Lee yesterday and there's fighting on the terraces spectators fighting on the terraces so Gilbert runs up to try and level the scores and he has done straight through Gilbert's leveled the scores so it's 10 all and Huddersfield are right back in this game a marvellous solo effort then from Gibson the goal by Gilbert means after 32 minutes it's Doncaster 10 Huddersfield 10 and it's going to be Rose then to restart for Doncaster Gibson again then Time for another 80 yard, just like the one he got against Trafford Borough, and of course Whitehaven. Look like, and Doncaster's tackling's very high at the moment, and Gilbert didn't like that. So Senior's trying to make, trying to, trying to make some ground then, Gary Senior. Phil Hook then. Oh, and that's... No, says the referee, fair challenge, says the referee. Shuttleworth then tries to kick long. Straight down the throat of Zelly. And Zelly takes that one this time. And he's faced by David Oates. And David Oates and Gibson combined to bring him down. And Huddersfield then looked to be away offside, but the referee signalled nothing. Move from Doncaster taking the ball midway between the 22. I think we're going to see a penalty to Doncaster this time. Another incident in the tackle. According to the referee, no penalty. But went backwards, but Rain lost a lot of ground for Doncaster. And Huddersfield have got to stay on side. A silly thing to do from Kenworth there. And Rose wants to restart immediately, and he is doing it in the form of Zelly. Tony Zelly then, making up to where Doncaster were before. The pennant. Pennant's involved there, trying to go, of course, for his hat trick. Um, and the tutor won't be brought down. Smith. Four far town tacklers immediately clinging to Mike Smith. He's made no ground. Rose. Smith again. They're not getting through at the moment, though. Doncaster on the 22 yard line. And there's Smith. Rose. Rain. Rainbow down, last tackle then signalled. And what's Smith going to do with this? Should be Huddersfield's ball. Yeah, Huddersfield have got the ball. So they survived the last tackle there. The neat kick through from Smith. Couldn't force the error. And Phil Hook then. He's going to play the ball. Walker. Good tackling on Stuart Walker. Scott hat trick in Friday's Alliance game with the Rochdale Hornets. So confidence should be sky high. 
Senior. On the 22 yard line, that's the last tackle. Going to see a kick from Shuttleworth, perhaps, yeah. A kick under pressure from Shuttleworth. Two out then, Zelly. Zelly's trying to run the ball through, but he can't get past the two man tackle. Gilberton Oates then. Not Gilberton Sullivan. Back to tackle him. Chance there for Rose. Rose now to the play the ball. Loose forward. There's no way through and there's no one in support for him. Look to be running out of ideas after a bright start. Doncaster at the moment. But the game's anyone's yet, of course. And he's blundering through the tackles. Head eye tackle then perhaps by Huddersfield. But again the referee says nothing. And Huddersfield is six miles offside. But again the referee does nothing. I don't quite know what Gibson was trying to do there, play for offside, but it didn't work. And Huddersfield are on their own 22 yard line. Shuttleworth then. Chapman. Anthony Edwards is a chance for Huddersfield here. On the overlap, it's Johnny Dolly. Johnny Dolly's heading down the wing. And it. Oh, and he dropped the ball. He dropped the ball. A chance for Johnny Dolly, but he dropped the ball. A brilliant move involving Anthony Edwards at centre, out to John Dolly, but he just dropped the ball, lost control at the vital moment, and Doncaster have got a chance to drive away and clear the lines. So we're on the Doncaster 22-yard line then. Three minutes till the break. Plus injury time. Clock's not been stopped too often by Mr. Valanti from Batley, so there won't be much of that. And Matutu is trying again. Gives the ball to Perrin. Miles forward. Yes, good decision by the referee. Forward pass that time from Matutu to Perrin. Perrin was in the clear, but it was a forward pass. So it's going to be a scrum down midway between the back the Doncaster 22 and the halfway line. We should look to put the ball in then. So we've got a chance here. For one less attack, maybe even four half time from Huddersfield. Try and get the noses in front. And we're going to have another try, says Mr. Valente. Not happy with the way the ball went in, so we're going to try again. So Shuttleworth's going to try again. The, the result's exactly the same. And now the ball's with Gibson. Gibson, Chapman. Chapman trying to get through. But he can't get the ball out to Edwards again. And Doncaster, seven, Doncaster are offside, but the referee does nothing. And Nadiol is grounded. And now the ball's with Kenworthy. Kenworthy sells a dummy, but he can't get past the tackler. And Doncaster, many, and he's offside. He's got to be offside. And Gilbert's going to have a bang at goal. It's a long way out, this one. But remember, he kicked 12 out of 14 against Trafford Borough, including three from the touchline last week. So it should be in Gilbert's range. Over there, I saw him scuffling. Thank you. Some, uh, I know we were lost, yeah, I saw him, I know him. What Huddersfield fan? In which scarf around his neck? So Gilbert then lines the kick up, there's noise from Doncaster. It's a good attempt, it's through from Gilbert. So Huddersfield, just before the break, heads 12 10 into the lead here at Tattersfield. And Huddersfield in the lead for the first time during the game. Anywhere that one, you know. Kick for Maoris, but New Zealand Maoris is brilliant. So miraculously, they notice they look like they're going to go into the into the break. Two points to the good. It's been a good performance by both teams. We've seen some good rugby, some good tries. But Fursfield can hold this ball for six and kick it long. That should be it as far as the first half goes. We've, we've just about 40 seconds to go to the break. So Walker then, Lomax, Lomax, what can Lomax do? A three-man Doncaster tackle then brings Lomax to the ground, but he's almost to the halfway line. Good running by Lomax, and Doncaster, they looked offside, but the referee chooses to do nothing again, and Chuckle was trying to get through, but he's grounded just short of the halfway line. 
Knock on to Doncaster fans. The referee's not impressed. A long fast forward out to Jowett. And Jowett then, where's that going to go? It's just out on the full. And now look to go on the full. That really looked like... Look, And the referee putting his touch just to rights there, saying the ball didn't bounce. The controversy, and there's a substitution for Doncaster. Looks like Terry Hermanson's going off. I can't quite see who's gone. It looks like Tony Miller's come on for Doncaster. So they're going to feed this scrum then. Ten yards inside their own half. And it's going to come out on Doncaster's side. Oh, and that's a knock on, surely. It looked like a knock on. Referee asked his touch judge on this near side, but he didn't single anything, so play continues then. Huddersfield then have got to get on side, which they have done just, I think. John Evans then driving to the halfway line for Doncaster. Half time then. Half time sees the, club, the clubs change around. So it's going to be Jason Gilbert then to kick off Huddersfield. Goal says Mr. Morante, so Gilbert kicks off. Kicks off deep then. One almost a knock on there. A bit fortunate. Five yards inside the 22 then. Doncaster trying to drive the ball away. But forced backwards. Made no ground on that tackle. And they've got to let him get up and play the ball. Otherwise he'll be penalised. And they stay onside then. He's been... He's not been so clever with his offside decisions today, Mr Valante. But he seems to be watching more now. John Evans then, John Evans trying to make his way through. And he seems to have a long time to play that ball. And Shuttleworth's got it. Didn't give him 10, that's a fair decision, I think. And Doncaster, they can grumble all they want, but he didn't give him 10 yards. So Shuttleworth then, with a chance to get the ball into the 25, 22 almost. Phil Hook went to play the ball to Stuart Walker. Stuart Walker's trying to get through. Five yards inside the 22. Stuart Walker's eventually grounded. Kenworth it. Kenworth he slips and falls over. No real ground made there. Kept hold of the ball though. And the ball's having Hook's trying to go through. It's a good run by Phil Hook. Deep inside Doncaster territory. And could we see a drop goal here from Shuttleworth? Mick works the run around low. Max is trying to get through. Is he giving a forward pass? I think he has. He's giving a forward pass against Shuttleworth. And Shuttleworth looks a bit bemused at that decision. So it's going to be Rose to feed the ball. And then it should be positioned to Doncaster. Indeed it is. And Zeely's trying to get through, but there's, it's a good tackle. Oh, Jason Gilbert, it's a very good tackle. Clinging to this two-point lead then at the moment, Huddersfield. And Rain's trying to do something, and Rain, he can, but there's no one to give the ball to. It's a good tackle. Doncaster fans don't like it, but it's a good tackle. There's a chance here. The ball can go out. But he couldn't get the ball out to Pennant. Couldn't release really solve the Pennant. The chance here then Rose. It's going to come to Smith and Smith tries to chip through. It's going to go into just as a very good kick from Mike Smith. Excellent kick from Mike Smith.
Naniole. Explosive running from John Naniole. Makes some very good ground there for Huddersfield. Gary Senior then. Always, always seems to make ground and he has done again on that occasion. He's almost up to the halfway line, Gary Senior. Good in from Senior. Doncaster offside. Referee doesn't give it though. Are they making good ground every tackle in Huddersfield? Huck, Shuttleworth, Gilbert. Chance for Anthony Edwards. Edwards can't get the pass away. Almost into touch. Held just on the far touch line. And Gilbert almost had that's a good take. It's a good tackle though, on Rose, just outside his own 22, very good tackle. Doncaster forwards then driving forward. But the then, Chris Chapman was definitely offside, but the referee doesn't give it. Half a tackle made then on John Evans, but it was enough. Offside. And it looks like Mike Smith's going on this going off. This looks like a blow for Doncaster. Mike Smith's going off. It's a blow for Doncaster. But it's still still in the lead by 12 points to 10. And there's a chance here for Doncaster. To run the ball through then. Try and go for the score. We've got to let him let him get up and play the ball, otherwise they'll be penalised. Substitute just holding the pass. No ground made there by Doncaster. And I think it uh, could be significant the loss of Smith. I don't know if he'll come back on, but he's off at the moment. The ball's going to be played now back to Zilai. Or Zelly. Well, that's predictable there from Doncaster. And the Doncaster fans, I don't think they've ever seen tackling before because there was definitely nothing wrong with that tackle. And there was three men at the play the ball then, they had to be offside. That was a wild pass then, and Huddersfield had the ball. Offside, surely Doncaster, no it's not given. Nadioli runs and he comes back in field, just outside the 22 yard line. And they've got to let him get up and play the ball, and he's stolen 10 yards. Well, he's stolen a few yards then, that looked like a high tackle. No, but the ball's out with Shuttleworth. Greg Shuttleworth, ooh, and that was a, an almighty clash there, with Shuttleworth perfectly fair though, I think. And Gilbert, Gilbert, good pass to Oates, and Oates is in touch. So it's going to be a scrum down just on that, just inside Doncaster territory, with their put in. To start with Rose then on Doncaster's side. Zelly. Zelly. Loose forward trying to get through. It's got a cool too. Of course played so well at Fartown. In the fixture last month. And Doncaster's play is a bit predictable at the moment. They're not really making a lot of ground. But still play on the deck. I'm waiting for treatment. I can't quite see who it is. And Zelly's trying to go for the line. Knock on given. Knock on given. But it's still putting then at the scrum. Hard lines from Zelly, a good run by Tony Zelly.
Gibson. Gibson trying to burst through. It's a good move to Chapman. And Huddersfield have got speed in the back line and Chapman could go all the way. They're not going to catch him. They're not going to catch him. No way. Edwards is in. What a try from Huddersfield. That was a score in three quarters. The marvellous run around went through. Tony Chapman then on the burst. Through to Gibson. The ball came through to Gibson. Through to Edwards. What a score under the post. Conversion of formality for Gilbert. A length of a field chart in front of Sfield is going to put him in control. 16-12 at the moment. 18-12 then with a goal attempt. The best try of the game then. Another Sfield in control. Gilbert then he's going to goal this no doubt I'm sure. Just, the defence just couldn't hold Anthony Edwards. They got back well to tackle Chapman, and then they did well to get hold of Gibson. But Gibson offloaded the ball to Anthony Edwards, who went straight in under the post. So it's going to be a, a simple conversion for Gilbert. Yes, yeah, straight through. Jason Gilbert. I do still have got some breathing space now. It's 18-12, 18-10, sorry. And don't forget, this is from 10-2 down. It's one stage in the first half. 18-10. And with Mike Smith off the field, Doncaster needs some encouragement from somewhere. And you get the feeling if Huddersfield can score again, that's going to be curtains for Doncaster. Nadioli there. Nadioli gathers the ball. Bursting towards the 22. Gets past the 22. Good ground made, made by Joe Nadioli. Huck. Walker. Seeing you then brought down, but he made good ground out of the 22. Lomax gives the ball back to Shuttleworth, and Shuttleworth still going through. And Lomax was pushed off the ball then. Lomax was definitely pushed off the ball. Oh, and that could be a penalty. And you had to be offside. There was three men at the play of the ball. And Gibson chip and chase. Gibson. Oh, and that was so unlucky from Gibson. So unlucky from Gibson. Almost with a chip and chase. And if he'd have got hold of that, that'd have been good night, Doncaster. If he could have got hold of that. But he takes his scrum down with Doncaster to put in. Ten yards inside their own half. So Doncaster come away with the ball then. Zelly, Zelly, well brought down though, good tackle. A very good play, Tony Zelly. And my two two, I was set up two tries for Penn and Tony this afternoon. Penalty. Quick tap taken. Chance here for Doncaster, they men over. But they didn't use it to the best of the best. They didn't do as well as they could have done there, Doncaster. They had men over on the touchline. But there's still a chance then to get a score back. Driving towards the 22. Gilbert's calling for more men to come over to this far touchline. I think Doncaster may be playing for the penalty, but they're laying down in the tackle. But the referee's certainly been certainly given a lot of penalties in that department today. And they're gonna have to get off him. Zelly. Oh, and he's dropped the ball. The line beckoning. Rain drops the ball. And always has a chance then to bring the ball away for Fartown. And it's debatable whether he would have scored because there were men back, but it was certainly a chance for Doncaster. Well set up by Zelly, who of course scored two marvellous tries here last season against Huddersfield, including a very neat chip chip and catch over the line but they're going to need some inspiration from him today and that's a very good kick from Shuttleworth midway 
between the, the Doncaster 22 and the halfway line. It's going to be a scrum down. With Rose to put the ball in. And Murphy's up off the bench. Alex Murphy's screaming at his players. He's obviously not happy, but is he ever? Come out, ball comes out on Doncaster's side. They have a chance here, they've got the, op the overlap, but they couldn't find the players. Matutu out, Matutu out. But he's met by a brick wall in Simon Kenworthy. He couldn't get past Kenworthy and he's smothered by a three-man tackle. And they're letting him get up, yeah. Ooh, and he oh, just held on to that. Explosive tackling. I think there's going to be there's going to be some there's going to be some work in the treatment room for both teams after this game. I don't suppose they're just filled with bothered if they can come away from here with a good valuable two points. Last tackle then signalled by Mr. Valente. Doncaster needs something special now. Perhaps it could come up come in the form with something from Zelly. But he's trying. But the ball's well gathered by Shuttleworth. Play on and he wasn't tackled. And Shuttleworth setting it off. Good ground made by Greg Shuttleworth. Zelly almost able to regather. But well read by Shuttleworth. And Shuttleworth brings the ball out and it goes to Stuart Walker. Stuart Walker then. Midway between the 22 and the halfway line, Gibson. Now the ball's to low, Max. And Nadi Oli couldn't hold the pass. It was a very poor pass though. You can't really blame the winger there. It's a very poor pass. But he'd expect to hold it normally. So it's given Doncaster a golden opportunity. Ten yards outside the other 22. So maybe grab some points. The ball comes out indeed with Doncaster. It's a bit predictable at the moment, unfortunately, from Donnick. Pre-season promotion favourites, of course. Doncaster. And they haven't really lived up to that billing today. And Zelly, of course. Are they... And Pennant, trying to... he's going for his hat-trick, of course. He's had two tries in the first half from Pennant. And he's going for his hat-trick, but there was no way through from there. Rose. Rose has got a chance, but it's predictable. There's no one in support for Doncaster, unfortunately. Unfortunately for Doncaster, there's no one in support. And they let Rose get up to play the ball. Matutua, he could score from anywhere, this lad. He looks a very good player. A last tackle, and Doncaster need a score here desperately. Well, yeah, it's a good try. A very good try. The move down was worked. It was a very good try. And the game's back wide open again. We've got it. 12. That's not Kevin Rain. Number 12 then, Kevin Rain. Scores a try. Puts Doncaster and Zelle with the simplest of conversions. There should be no problem for Zelle. Indeed it isn't. So the game's right back in the melting pot. It's 18-16 to Huddersfield. 17 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Doncaster have come right back into it. The try from Rain and the goal from Zelle. It's going to be Gilbert to kick off. Gilbert kicks off them. Kicks long. Oh my Rose, Rain. Runs into the brick wall, three man tackle. So he's driven back inside his own 22. Rain again, makes five or six yards, it's two gone. Good ground made, 15 or 16 yards gain there by Doncaster, the forwards driving on. 
Almost to the halfway line now. They've driven well, Doncaster. And it could be them now with a bit between the teeth. Ooh, almost charged down again. That could be down Gibson's throat. Well taken, Wally Gibson. Exciting full back in his third year, of course, with this field. And he's scored a, scored a few good tries in his time. And hoping for another one today. Hook. Oh, Hook looked tired then as he ran with that ball. Shuttleworth. And Shuttleworth trying to go on his own. And he almost gets through and makes some good ground, Greg Shuttleworth. Get him out of it. Low max. No ground really made there then. They're just shot the halfway line. Shuttleworth then kicks long. Is it? A storming tackle. Storming tackle and Pennant's got a chance to run with the ball. Pennant, but he's wrestled to the ground, oddly Pennant. Doncaster fans appealing for a penalty, not given by Mr. Valente. Play taken into Huddersfield territory then. You need to tackle well here, Huddersfield. Ball's gone to ground. No. And a knock forward on the halfway line from Rain. Sorry? Yeah. 18-16. Shuttleworth then's got the ball out of the scrum. Gilbert. Gilbert is taking play to the halfway line. Then Jason Gilbert. Gibson. Storming tackle. Doncaster man threw him, threw him backwards, gave him some extra yards. Gibson again. Kenworthy. Sam Kenworthy slips. Falls over. No real ground made. But he got hold of the ball. Offside. And Alex Murphy's telling him to go for goal. No, he's not. Murphy was telling him to go for goal there. So Alex Murphy won't be pleased if he disobeyed his orders. He wanted uh, Gil Jason Gilbert to have a pot goal. But I don't suppose it'll be too bothered if Huddersfield can force a score. And Doncaster have got to get back on side. They came forward a bit too early, Nadioli. Inside, the Doncaster 22, deep inside, is a transfer to Sfield. Hook. Lomax. Lomax on the burst. Gives the, gives the ball back to Hook. Penalty. To Doncaster. Lomax penalised. Zelly's going to put the ball into touch then. Chance to clear the lines then, Doncaster. 22 minutes gone. It's still 18-16 in Huddersfield's favour, but Doncaster have got the ball. Midway between their 22 and the halfway line. Huddersfield have got to stay on side. Driving through, trying to take play to the Huddersfield, uh, Huddersfield territory. It's going to be Rain. Rain's well shackled though, no way through for Rain. Program's wrong, so I don't know which rain it is with them being twins. And here's the other one anyway. That was a marvellous break there from Doncaster. To penalty to this field, exactly what Lomax was penalised for at the other end. And you can hear what the Doncaster fans think about that decision from Mr. Valente. Just going to be hooked then. He penalised all that for it down there, so I mean, where do you go? So, hooked then. Two shit decisions. So, fill up then with a chance to play the ball. Both had a chance to score. Kenworthy. Kenworthy trying to force his way through, but there's no way through. But he's made some good yardage. 
Shuttleworth, Gibson. Well tackled though. No way through for Gibson on that occasion. Gilbert. It's down as falls. Huddersfield are just in the lead still. And Gilbert almost got into the last tackle signalled by the referee. We're going to try and play the ball out. David Oates. Oates is going for the line. Could be a thrilling finish. That was a very good move by Huddersfield involving David Oates. The pass inside, which was headed for Chapman. Headed for Chapman was not behind and then kicked dead by Rain. So Huddersfield are going to have the ball back. A good move on the last tackle. They didn't give possession away. The pass was spun out by Gibson. Ambitious play by Huddersfield. And it almost paid off. The Doncaster, desperate in defence, managed to get the ball back. Not the ball back. <laughs> Knock on from Nadiole. And the Doncaster fans like the look of that. They won't be happy with that, John Adioli. His handling's not been so bad today at all. And he knocks that one on. And it's at a vital time in the game. And that's a knock-on! It's a knock-on! And they're going to give the ball back to Huddersfield. And I can't hear the Doncaster fans going E-R-E-R -E -R this time. As their fellow knocks on. But it's going to be Shuttleworth with a chance now. Ball comes out and it's to Nadioli who's held the pass this time. Nadioli almost takes play to halfway. Gives it back to Gilbert, senior. Shuttleworth then up, Shuttleworth up then with a the play of the ball. But now it's with Walker. Inside the Doncaster half, Hook. Simon came with it. Hook again, Shuttleworth, Gilbert, Gibson, Gibson on the burst. Almost finds the extra man, Wally Gibson. Just wanted support. Ball still alive. So last tackle a heel over, forward pass. But the referee says it's the last tackle, so it's just a changeover. Don't guess then. Still two points behind. And the Doncaster fans trying to get behind the team. Rain. Halfway line then for Rain. Little fans then in turn, giving some vocal engagement. Terrible from Rain, really. He'll be sickened with that. Position then. Little should get position like this on the halfway line. And Rain's not played well at, well at all. I think Mr. Valente is going to say we're going to have another go. Which indeed we are. Balls out with Chuckle with them. Gilbert. Chapman. Matutu had good tackle him. Came with it. Forced backwards though by two Doncaster players. Hook. Hook clings to the ball. There's no way through for this field. Shuttleworth. Senior. Not, no ground. They've lost ground at this field. They're not making any ground at all. Shuttleworth. Lomax. Perhaps Lomax can make the breakthrough. Gets played halfway, it's the last tackle. So what's Shuttleworth going to do with this then? That's a very good kick from Shuttleworth. Takes play deep inside the Doncaster 22 and they're going to have to drive the way out then. You have to drive the way out. Very good kick from Shuttleworth. Of course it's Huddersfield who just have the slight edge at the moment. With 28 minutes gone. Been a very good game.
good advert for the third division. Whoever eventually sneaks it, it's been a very good advert for the third division. Offside. No, kicking. Thought to give an offside, but Zell has got a chance to make some extra yards. Huddersfield defence has got to hold firm here then. Ten yards from the halfway line, then Doncaster the ball. One tackle. Two. Two or three yards gained. Well disciplined for Muddersfield at the moment. Three tackles. Doncaster driving forward. Trying to, trying to take play towards Huddersfield 22. And Zelly. He's played very well today, Tony Zelly. Candidate for man of the match, I think. He's done very well. Trying to say a good tackle. He's got the ball out. I think the referee should have shouted held then, yeah. Last tackle signalled. He should have shouted held beforehand. Matucho has a chance. That's a good tackle though from Shuckleworth. Brilliant from Shuckleworth. Matucho was in full flight. And he's a very powerful centre. But it was well played by Greg Shuckleworth. A good tackle. Tackle. Kept Doncaster out. Gibson looks to be hurt. But the Doncaster fans don't like it. They think he's playing for time. Which he may well have been. Hook. Senior. Senior trying to get through. There's no way through though. Plays on the 22. Hook. Makes another five or six, seven yards. Almost got through, last tackle, midway between the, the 22 and the halfway line. Shuttle then kicks long, it needs to bounce. It doesn't. Chance for Doncaster then. Ten minutes to go. Nine minutes to go, sorry. It's a good chance for Doncaster here. And the fans are giving him some encouragement. Shuttle trying to steal the ball. Can't do it. This is Doncaster's big chance. Need to, need to get the score here. But the ball's gone to ground from the loose forward. And that's been it. one of the main stories of the afternoon for both sides, really dropping the ball at vital times. And it's the accurate kicking of Jason Gilbert that's put his field in front at the moment. Of course, Zilla has missed a kick at goal. Seventeen hundred then the, the attendance, which is a very good attendance, of course. Because the best attendance is two thousand one hundred at Huddersfield for the game with Batley, but it's still a very good attendance on a cold November day. And I think Doncaster will be well satisfied with the gate receipts from this game. Hook, Lomax driving through, trying to make some ground. And they do look offside at the moment, Doncaster. No, they've, they've been told and they got back well. Gibson. Now they only did well to hold that ball and now it's with Edwards. A chance for Doncaster here. Pennant. Matitua. No way through. 10 yards inside the Huddersfield half. They've got to get onside. And they were offside then, but the referee, as on many occasions today, didn't do anything about it. Rain. Rain's brought down. And they shouldn't let him get the ball out. They haven't done. Good tackling. It's freezing cold here now. As night draws in. Rain again. Driving forward, but he's brought down. And they haven't really made much ground. But they have a chance here with, with Rouse. Nobody's brought down as well. Penalty, he didn't play the ball. The referee had signalled last and he still got the ball out. And that's very slack play from Doncaster. They should have noticed. 
Do the referee have signal blast? It's slack play. So six and a half minutes to go. Shuttleworth then, taking his time, which of course he can. So play then just inside the Doncaster 22. They can hold this ball for six and then kick it long. Done very well. And the supporters giving Huddersfield vital encouragement then. It's vital time during the game. And they're certainly in a joyous mood. The supporters are in a joyous mood over there in that far corner. And meanwhile the ball's with Walker. Shuttleworth is brought down though. Oh, well taken there by Senior. But he took it well. And perhaps we could see a drop goal, even though it's not really much good. Kenworth it. Shuttleworth. Balls out with Lomax. Last tackle. And what's Shuttleworth going to do with this? That's a good drop goal. The drop goal's good and the drop goal's gone over from Gibson. A good drop goal. Last tackle, the ball came out and Gibson just over the crossbar. Kicked a very vital one, of course, against Rydell York last year, which won the game 7-6. Perrant's offside. The referee didn't see it. But Nadioli's got hold of the ball and he's going to try and take play outside the 22. And he's just managed to do it. Huddersfield 19-16 in the lead. That drop goal from Wally Gibson. Driving forward. Still in, well inside their own half. And the, the crowd has started to drift towards the exits. But it's not over yet, of course. Stuart Walker trying to get through. Gives the ball back to Gibson, and Gibson could set off, and he's got pace. But he went down without having needed to be tackled there. Seemed to sort of like slip and go down. And Doncaster have a million men offside, but I think the referee's given up all interest of offside. And Gilbert's got the ball, trying to get through, last tackle. And I think we'll find a long touch finder from Shuttleworth. It's gone backwards though. It's behind his own line, and it's going to be a dropout. Huddersfield have got possession. It's going to be a dropout. Huddersfield have got possession. So it should be for Gibson now. Gibson's going to set off. He's going to get play as far as he can back in Doncaster territory. And he's still going, Gibson. He's almost got to the 22. So the clock's going down, we've now got just over three minutes to go, three minutes play left. Kenworthy, Kenworthy's so unlucky, got, almost brought the tackle, Kenworthy, but plays inside the Doncaster 22 now. The ball's with Gilbert, sorry, the ball's with Lomax, sorry, my mistake. Gibson, what can Gibson do with it? Trying to work the run around. Chance for Senior. Can Senior get over? Last tackle, we might see another drop goal. It's a try! It's a try! But a still have scored! The last tackle, the tip through! But a still have scored, and that's it! There's no way Doncaster are going to come back from that! And you can see what Huddersfield fans think about that. They're leaping up and down on the left-hand side. And I didn't see who scored it. All I know is that he touched it down. And Huddersfield are going to win here at Huddersfield. It's been a marvellous display. A marvellous display. They've never given up. They've never lost out. And all the noise you can hear at the moment is coming from the Huddersfield fans to the left of the, 
to the left of me as I look onto the field. And if Gilbert can have this goal in Huddersfield home and dry, they should be now anyway. Well done, lads! So Gilbert then runs up, straight through. Six out of six for Gilbert. One minute, 20 seconds left, and Huddersfield have won. There's no mistake about it, Huddersfield have got two more points. And Doncaster after the home reversal against Bramley last week. I've got some serious catching up to do. And he must be feeling very despondent at the moment. And the Doncaster fans are leaving the ground. And Zella is going to kick off them. Well taken, Gibson. Nadioli. Nadioli, then he's still going. Nadioli's going, what a run from Joe Nadioli. Back to one, but is he going to signal back to one? Doncaster fell, look to touch the ball. No. Gilbert. So this goes 25-16 in Huddersfield's favour. The nine to the good. Two tries and a goal needed for Doncaster. It's a bit late now because there's 20 seconds on my watch left. Plus injury time. And Mr Volante hasn't stopped the, stopped the timekeepers too often this half. And we could even see another try for Huddersfield before the final hooter. And the ball's with Lomax. Gibson. Shuckleworth. Chippers can have a go at chipping and chasing that, but it's in touch. The brilliant kick from Shuttleworth. Knew exactly where he wanted to put that ball and it's gone. And it's other your fans you can hear over to my left. Jubilant, two more points. Of course, that's a double completed over Doncaster. With a 14-0 get. Huddersfield, of course, winning 14-0 at Fartown. And the encounter earlier this season. And it's not been as comfortable for him today. But they've won with 30 seconds injury time on the clock. A bit late now for Doncaster. That's it. Huddersfield have won. Huddersfield have won. 25-19. 25-16. Huddersfield have won. Comfortably at Tantersfield. And it's another two points that takes Huddersfield near and near to the top of the league. And of course with the home game against Bromley next week, they have a chance to do another double over a team.